Uh, my name is Daniela Barbosa, as Vipin said, and I'm the executive director of the Hyperledger Foundation. I have been here for the last five years. I just celebrated my fifth year anniversary at the Linux Foundation um, as part of the Hyperledger Foundation team. And you'll find our staff throughout the day here um, and hope you get to meet us as well. I also serve as the general manager across the LF for blockchain, healthcare, and identity. And there's a lot of great work happening within the Hyperledger Ledger Foundation and within our sister projects as well that I think many of you will be interested in. It's really amazing to see everybody in person. Uh, we had our members together. I was a little bit ner more nervous yesterday because it was the first time I was in front of people, uh, but today I'm feeling a little bit better. But it's amazing. And hello to all the virtual uh, viewers there and those that are going to watch the recording that in the time that makes sense for them. We welcome you, and we are very happy to be in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, and I hope you are really enjoying this lovely city because it's certainly lovely. Um, I want to thank first our our sponsors, uh, including Accenture, who is one of our diamond sponsors, and Siemens as well, who is a platinum sponsor. Without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to have this event and bring our communities together. So I want to remind everybody to make sure you visit the sponsor showcase. It's going to be on the third floor. So if you go right up the elevators, um, we're going to have the, the coffee breaks and all the things up there throughout the day. So please visit them. And then tonight, we're also going to have the booth crawl. So I look forward to seeing everybody in the booth crawl. Just a quick reminder about our event code of conduct, um, all attendees, as uh, Jyoti said should feel welcome and all are welcomed here. So please, uh, we take this very serious. You can QRC the code and you'll see these signs around uh, the event as well. Be kind, be respectful um, and abide please by our code of conduct. If you see something or feel something that is not appropriate or makes you feel uncomfortable, please speak to staff. We take this very serious and we wanna make sure that everybody feels welcome as well. Um, Friendly reminder, please try to keep your mask on unless you're eating or drinking. This is out of respect for everybody here in the building. Um, and we really appreciate it, and the staff particularly, because they're responsible for making sure that that is endorsed. Uh, to get started, all right, I'm going to take you back in the Wayback Machine. Now, it seems like it's the Wayback Machine, but it was only you know, March 2020, but it's been a very long two and a half years, as we all know, when we last gathered our community in person in Phoenix, Arizona. It was March um, 2020 um, when the global pandemic was just about starting to shut down. And many of you here in this room uh, were there in Phoenix as well. We all had hesitation. We were all like, what's going on? But we were so happy to be together. The people that showed up that day, the speakers, everybody wanted to talk about what they were building. And I think today is going to be like this. Today and tomorrow is going to be like that as well. We were fist bumping, elbow bumping. We all remember that. Everybody's laughing because we were there as well. Um, but like tomorrow's event at the Guinness Storehouse, which is tomorrow night, a Tuesday night, we always like to bring in a bit of the local flair um, that um, comes in. And we were at the Corona Ranch. We had picked this place way before the system started, uh, the, the event started. Um, and it had lovely, it was lovely ranch, hot air balloons, mariachi bands, tacos. It was a lovely evening out. Um, but we, you know, if you recall, the pandemic was actually called the, you know, at the time they were calling it the coronavirus. So we uh, enjoyed a free tacos, we had some corona beer, we kind of giggled very nervously throughout the whole thing, um, but we enjoyed celebrating accomplishments as, a, accomplishments as our community. Um, and, you know, Honestly, little did any of us know what we we're about to experience over, you know, until through, through today as well. So fast forward to today. And I know it doesn't seem like a fast forward because it was a very long time period in all our lives. And today, over six and a half million people have died due to COVID, um, some in our own developer community, and many of our parents or grandparents and aunts and uncles and kids. So I want to just take a couple of minutes to take a deep breath. We all made it. Um, those are here in the room. But also take a, just to remember those who unfortunately didn't have the opportunity um, to be here today. But our global community is together. And thank you all once again uh, for coming together. We haven't met in person since 2020. 
but we're here in Dublin, um, and it is, we're here to learn from each other and plan together the future of what enterprise blockchain is, the future of digital trust as we see it. Um, our community is strong, and it's growing, and we have a portfolio of open source project tools and libraries that are powering some of the biggest networks in the world, some that you'll hear about here on stage today. Um, like Latchain, which is a regional blockchain network for the Latin America and Caribbean, led by the Inter-American Development Bank Innovation Lab. It's kind of a, a mouthful, uh, but fantastic story, and I think you'll really enjoy that story alongside with Elastria as well. Um, or projects, uh, or uh, talks on projects like Fabric and Bezu and Eroja that are powering central bank digital uh, currency projects, so CBDCs like the Banque de France, who will be speaking today here as well as part of the keynotes about their CBDC journey. So you're going to hear about these technologies being used in implementations. Um, and companies like Accenture and DTCC and Fujitsu, who have been contributing to our community over the last seven years and building these enterprise use cases using Hyperledger technology. And it's really a fantastic story that all our speakers in the keynotes and in the business and technical tracks have. Our community has really been leading the way in digital identity use cases, supply chain, finance, telecom, climate accounting. I can go on and on. I literally can talk an hour about all the use cases and all the great stuff that our community has been built. Um, and emerging Web3 technologies, you're going to hear about all this and throughout the next two days. You will be pleasantly surprised about the kind of work that's happening in Hyperledger if you haven't been paying close attention. For those of you who might be new to the ecosystem and are first timers to Hyperledger events, over the last seven years, we've welcomed multiple open source projects. Um, these include distributed ledgers, uh, initially starting with things like Fabric and Sawtooth. Um, Fabric today is one of the most adopted DLT uh, platforms in the enterprise. And there's Besu, which came in in 2019, which is an Ethereum client that was designed to be enterprise friendly for both public and permissioned network cases. Uh, there are tools like Cactus, uh, which is a blockchain interoperability framework, and Firefly, which is a full stack subnode for enterprises to build and scale secure Web3 applications. Um, there's also libraries like Ares, um, and that's for creating interoperable self-sovereign identity solutions, and you'll hear about all of these today. Um, there's also Ursa, which is a cryptographic library, and everybody has a cute little logo, except uh, the one on the right there, which is our newest project, which is Hyperledger Solang, and that's a Solidity compiler for Solana and Substrate. So, very, very uh, broad view of what we're looking at today. Throughout the sessions, you'll hear all these projects being talked about. Um, we also have over 50 labs, and that's where innovation and experimentation is happening, and communities are working, and we're seeing increasing people wanting to bring code into the Hyperledger Foundation to uh, work and build a community around it. Um, this is basically, I think many of you, as I said before, are going to be surprised by the kind of work that our community is working on and how advanced a lot of these implementations are as well. And I know Tracy Kurt, where's Tracy? There you go. Tracy Kurt is going to talk specifically about some of the projects today, so thank you. So we are the Hyperledger Foundation. Our community is strong. We have over 40,000 contributors and over 1.2 million contributions over the last five years across all the projects that we saw in the labs. We have over 80,000 worldwide community members and hundreds of member companies supporting the work of the Hyperledger Foundation. We have regional chapters in Brazil, Latin America, Africa, Japan, India, and we are so happy that today you can go up to the third floor and you can meet a lot of these community representatives and contributors. Much like Jyoti and Vipin, many have been in our community for many, many years, and it's great to see them here and to be able to show their voice as well. Um, we also have representatives from the special interest groups. We have things in climate action and accounting and telecom and media and entertainment, and I really act Honestly, can't wait to go up there and see everybody because I've been talking to them in Zoom for the last two years, so it's going to be fantastic. So over the next three days, you're going to hear keynotes, business and technology talks, demos, and workshops. Um, you're going to have the opportunity, very importantly, to learn from one another and to teach one another what you've been working on and to leave Hyperledger Global Forum and become ambassadors for the Hyperledger Foundation wherever you may go today or 
on Wednesday or Thursday when you leave. Um, so before I get started, I want to thank specifically the wonderful people of Ireland and all the staff here that has been helping us out uh, for hosting our community here in Dublin. So I'd like to introduce our next keynote st speaker. Laurie Kehoe is the head of EMEA Market Operations at Coinbase. He also, very importantly, is the founder and advisory board member of Blockchain Ireland. And he, uh, he and Paul Hearns hosted me in May as well. So um, Laurie, please come on up.